Playing your favorite PC games with the detail levels and resolution maxed out doesn't mean you have to buy a big desktop rig. Today's best gaming laptops pack some serious power. In this video, we're gonna be checking out the top 5 best gaming laptops in the market. You can find links to the products in the description. If you have another product in mind that you would like us to review, please comment down below. We'll look into it as soon as possible and let you know how it compares to the items listed in this roundup. So without further ado, let's get started with the list. Predator Helios 300 from Acer offers an incredible value proposition at just over a grand, sometimes less if you can find it on sale. It offers a GTX 1060 6 gigs graphics card that can lock down 60 FPS at near max settings in most games from the last few years. The system's lacking in any fancy screen features like G-Sync, although you can get a model with 144Hz refresh rate. And you'll probably want to think about investing in a large HDD to back up this small SSD. But those minor issues don't mean much when you factor in the super affordable price tag. The Acer Predator Helios 300 is the best budget gaming laptop you can buy, without compromising on the features you need from a portable gaming device. Not everyone really needs the thinnest or the most powerful gaming laptop. Sometimes, still thin and still powerful is just fine. So striking a healthy balance between portability, performance and price is the Acer Predator Triton 500. It comes in two versions, high-end one comes with an RTX 2080 and costs about 2500 bucks. But the RTX 2060 version can be found around $1800. Either way, it's well worth your while seeing as it can push Metro Exodus at the highest settings with ray tracing on at an average pace of 56 FPS. And while it's doing so, you get to experience the luxury of its deeply satisfying 1.7mm keyboard travel and a Microsoft Precision touchpad that you surprisingly don't hate. Despite its terrifying default boot-up noise, the Acer Predator Triton 500 is surprisingly silent. With the new Blade 15 launched earlier this year, Razer has finally cocked up to the competition in terms of what makes a great gaming laptop. Solid construction, slim body, elegant design, long battery life, thin bezels, 144Hz screen, and internals powerful enough to play the latest games. That means an Intel Core i7 8750H processor, paired with an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1070 Max-Q GPU. What sets the Blade 15 apart from the competition is the details. Its aluminum body is the most solid and flex-resistant of all the laptops we've tested. And by a measure of about half a millimeter, it's the thinnest as well. Of course, that half millimeter difference is mostly negligent in terms of perception. More impressive is the overall solid feel of the body, which Razer says is CNC milled from a single block of aluminum. Opening the clamshell, the touchpad is noticeably larger than its peers, and the keyboard is flanked on either side by large speakers. Though they've only existed for about a couple of years now, Lenovo's Legion-branded laptops have made a name for themselves in the game industry, only because they offer unprecedented value on top-notch specs. Rather than crafting jacks of all trades, the Chinese tech company, known primarily for its ThinkPads, aims to squeeze the most performance out of the cheapest possible materials without compromising on quality and design. This principle is nowhere more evident than in the Lenovo Legion Y740, a 17-inch gaming laptop whose graphics chip ranges from NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 to 2080 and for a fraction of the price of its major competitors. Sure, considerably thinner than previous generations as they may be. Its bezels are bigger and more distracting than the norm, but the screen itself leverages technology rarely seen elsewhere. 
Dolby Vision HDR, for example, is in full bloom on its fluid 144Hz IPS display, and G-Sync eliminates the need for software-based adaptive sync protocols, such as V-Sync, which notoriously reeks of input lag and micro stuttering. On the audio end, the Y740 is graced with another striking Dolby technology, Atmos. By way of a fine-tuned onboard soundbar that emits a wide range of crisp frequencies, great in mid-range and bass tones in equal measure. Built into its Windows 10 Home install is the Dolby Atmos software as well, paving the way for customizable EQ profiles and nearly making up for the downfiring orientation of the speakers. If real-time ray tracing is your end game, the Lenovo Legion Y740 does not disappoint. In fact, it manages impressive average of 46 FPS on games like Metro Exodus in full settings. Temper a few of those sliders and you can bank on a buttery smooth 60 FPS with ray tracing turned on for about 30% less than the cost of its premium priced rivals configured with the same specs. The GS65 Stealth Tin delivers everything you could want in a gaming laptop. It has the convenience and portability of a productivity notebook, light and thin enough that you can toss it in your backpack bring it to meetings and comfortably use it on the couch. On top of all, it's powerful enough to play the latest games at high or max settings once the workday is over. It has a sleek matte black aluminum body with gold accents that feels sturdy and thankfully lacking in obnoxious gamer aesthetics. Best of all, in addition to a slim 18mm thickness, the screen's 4.9mm thin bezels allow for an overall case size that's about an inch smaller than most 15-inch laptops. Performance-wise, the GS65 doesn't disappoint. The base spec features a GTX 1060 Max-Q GPU, but I would recommend the GTX 1070 model for a few hundred dollars more. It brings with it an upgraded SSD and killer wireless networking. This spec lets the GS65 maintain frame rates above 60 FPS in most of the latest games with settings maxed out. And by tweaking a few settings here and there and disabling some of the more demanding less visually impactful options, you can easily push your frame rates up to 100 fps and maybe above, taking advantage of the system's 144Hz display. There are other nice details too, a keyboard from Steel Series that's solid and responsive, and RGB lids if you care about that sort of thing, a responsive touchpad and a webcam that's placed at the top of the screen, thankfully avoiding the abysmally unflattering nose cam found on most thin bezel laptops like the Dell XPS 13.